This is how you can make a purge links command for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And over on YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. Of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the link in the description below to get started with this and let's go and get into the video. So we can start off by going over to moderation and we can go ahead and do purge links.js. In here we can do const and we're going to go and get our slash command builder and we can also get our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we can go ahead and get discord.js. Then we can do module.exports and we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder. We can go ahead and set a name here which is going to be purge links and then we can go ahead and set a description. This description will be a purge links from a channel then we can go ahead and say up to 14 days old and then we can go ahead and add a channel option so we can do add channel option we can go ahead and do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be our channel we can go ahead and say a description and we can go ahead and say the channel you want to purge from and we can go ahead and add channel types so we can do channel types and we can go ahead and get our channel type that killed the text now you are gonna have to define that as well. Then we can add a comma, we're gonna do async executes. We can go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up. In here we can do const, we're gonna go ahead and get our guild and we can also get our options and we can do equals interaction. Then what we can go ahead and do is we can do const channel equals options to get channel. And that is going to be our channel. And we can do or interaction dot channel. Then we can do const messages equals await channel dot messages dot fetch. Then we can go ahead and defer a reply. So we can do await interaction dot defer reply. And we can go ahead and set infermal to true. So infermal and we're going to set that to true there. Then what we can go ahead and do is we can go ahead and make two variables. So we're going to do let count. That is going to be an empty array. And we can also do let response. And that's just going to be a variable that we're going to change later. Then we can do awaits and messages stuff for each and we can do async m and open this up. So basically we're going to go ahead and check each message individually. That's why we're using for each here. And we can further narrow that down to messages that have links. So we can go ahead and do if and we can do m.content.includes and we can go ahead and do https and we can do or m.content.includes and we can go ahead and get discord.gg slash and we can also do or m.content.includes and this time we can go ahead and get http you can go ahead and narrow this down even further you could also do something like this you could do forward slash forward slash just like that um and you could add that here too and there's other types of links you could get as well but that's what we're going to do here then we can go ahead and open this up and here we can start by doing a wait m.delete and then we can go ahead and catch an error here so we can just catch an error and do nothing just in case a message that's caught is older than 14 days so that way it doesn't crash the bot it's just going to go ahead and return and do nothing then we can do count plus plus uh, which is our plus plus operator so it's going to be adding one to the count array then we can go ahead and set response equal to true that way we know if we've already gone ahead and sent a response we're going to be using that later then we can go ahead and create our embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder and we can go ahead and set a color for me that's going to be green and we can also go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and open up some emojis here and for me i'm just going to go ahead and get the file emoji right there and after that we can go ahead and say i have deleted and we can do backslash tick we can go ahead and get our count and then we can do another backslash take and we can say messages containing links and we can say from this channel and we can do a star and we can say this could take minutes to complete keep in mind if the count seems low it's due to me not being able to delete messages 14 days or older so then after writing that embed out we can actually go in and send it so we can do await interaction dot reply and we can say content we're going to go ahead and leave that empty we can say embeds and that is going to be our embed and then we can also go ahead and keep informal as true it just like that so then we can go ahead and say else and we're just going to go ahead and return then after doing that we can go ahead and come out of this for each here and we can say if response is equal to true, then we can go ahead and open this up. And here we're going to go ahead and just return and do nothing. Then we can say else and we can do await interaction edit reply. And we can say content and we can go ahead and open up some emojis here. I'm going to get this one and we can go ahead and say you have and we can go ahead and get zero in our backslash ticks here. And then we can go ahead and say links in this channel. 
and we can do a star again there may be links 14 days or older still and that's actually all we have to do uh we can also go ahead and set infernal here to true and we can go ahead and finish that off and with that we're actually done with this entire command one other thing we can go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and change this from reply to edit reply uh, and then after doing that, we can actually go in and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in our Discord server, we can go ahead and create a channel. We're going to go ahead and call this links, and we can just go ahead and start off by sending a message. Then we can go ahead and get that YouTube link, so we can copy and paste our YouTube link in here. And we can just go ahead and send a couple more messages, and we can continue to just send more and more links just like this so we can do links and links and we can send normal messages as well and we can do different types of links so we can say hi and we can go ahead and say discord.gg slash coding lounge and we can send even more messages like that so i'm just going to go ahead and count this out so we have one two three four five six links within this channel and a bunch of other messages so we can actually go in and test this out by doing purge i'm going to keep the channel as is and we can go in and send it here and it actually went ahead and deleted them all it says i've deleted six messages containing links from this channel it's going to go in and say this could take minutes to complete keep in mind if the count seems low it's because there are messages that have links that are 14 days or older and as you can see it also left behind all the other messages we put in before as well as deleting that exact same number of links we had. So let's just go ahead and try to delete links that don't even exist. So we can go in and send it. And as you can see, it's going to say you have zero links in this channel. And there may still be links 14 days or older. Uh, but there's not. Obviously, we can see that. So we can go over into a channel that has activity. And there should be links in here. I'm pretty sure there's links in all these messages. Uh, so we can go ahead and test this out. So we can go ahead and do purge links. And we can go ahead and send it. And it's going to go ahead and delete five links from this channel. Uh, so that means it deleted five links that it could find. Now, keep in mind, there are links just like this one. This is a link um, that happened to be 14 days old, so it can't delete that, unfortunately. Uh, but it does work. So that's you can code a purge links command for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below. And we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.